right decision. Shannon Briggs, next to him, camera left, Mark Roberts, the manager with whom he lives in Upper New Jersey. He uh, has a great body and he has bad hair, which he picked to the sound of amazing grace. from Marshall, Texas, presenting the two-time heavyweight champion of the world, Big George Foreman. Silently as Bri at Briggs, and Briggs started laughing and talking to him in the middle of referee's instructions. Yeah, and I guess that shows some confidence in Briggs. Well, some of his supporters thought he might have been a little psyched out at the weigh-in where he refused to look at George. But round here. Though evident in his conquest of Sabres this past spring. It went pretty good. Uh, they're both getting used to each other. This really shows you what a specific art boxing is. I mean, the athletic cap appears to be huge here. Now, he's back in punching, you see that? Yeah, it's, Briggs has abandoned the style that he used in the first round. <laughs> Stalking Briggs, a left that was short, a right. Been landing the jab at about a 70% clip. If you have a jab. <laughs> Very easy if you have a jab. Oh, Shannon's starting to feel real bad now. And the crowd is not hitting the middle. Oh, good shot. There's that some up I'm talking about right there, Larry. There's a hard right hand by Briggs as he suddenly comes out of his doldrums. In this round that had been the case in the two preceding. Hard right hand by Briggs. He has to keep punching George like that, right there. And he's got it. He showed Foreman attempting only 21 punches. He certainly lost the sixth round. I'm talking about Foreman, but he just keeps walking him down and wrapping him with the hardest shots. I think he's winning the fight. He's winning the eighth round. Foreman with a hard left hook. Stop defense, particularly against a fighter like Foreman, is a good offense. The best defense period, in my case, I think, is a good offense. And he taught you well. That was the hardest punch of the fight for George. He must sense that Briggs is weakening on low. Very good more shot. Hard right hand across the top for Foreman. Round eight, the biggest crowd pleaser of the bout. Asma, I think his concern was he never raised it before. Why would you raise it after you lose your... Foreman crunching Briggs inside with a left hook. They trade body shots in close. And Briggs punctuates the exchange with a right cross. So Foreman chases him across the ring and lands his own right cross. 104. Oh, that was a good body shot by Shannon. Our right hand of the body sets up a combination up top. Foreman feels the need to come back with a certain fury, but Shannon Briggs with some very effective stuff in round 10. Briggs came right back, took that idea, and then popped George on top of his head. If, if Shannon is a gambler, he just rolled himself a hard 10. Now he has two more to go, and he'll be all right. Harold had to have it by Foreman as he approaches 49 years old. Well, you're the one who's supposed to go out there to show yourself. You're supposed to be the showcase. Briggs badly off balance as he landed the right hand shot. And in history, knocking out Trevor Burbick in the second round. Of course, if Foreman. Hard shots by Briggs. Foreman trying for the knockout with that hard right hand over the top. But it was short.
Kick inside. Foreman coming back with a left right of his own. 30 seconds to go. Okay, let's go. Stop punching. Point, but through our eyes, it appears he's not in danger of that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> his courage, Briggs, came too late. You saw what were no doubt words of encouragement and support from George Foreman to the man whom Foreman no doubt believes he has just defeated. Steve Weisfeld scores the bout. 114 to 114. He has it even. Lawrence Layton scores the bout. 117 to 113. And Calvin Claxton has it. 116 to 112 for the winner by majority decision and new linear heavyweight champion of the world, Shannon Well, thank you guys. George, your reaction to the decision? Well, Larry, I want you to see something. Look. That's about eight weeks I spent on that George Foreman lean, mean, fat-reducing grilling machine. I was grilling right in the bedroom, steaks and uh, salmon steaks, and I was able to lose a lot of weight, and I use it. The thing really works. And recently in Texas, they just started this home equity loan. People can borrow that little extra money they need on the mortgages. And, and, and what has that got to do with the price of tea in China or the result of this fight? I'm trying to sell my grill, Larry. <laughs> you know, Shannon Briggs won that boxing match. I've had 80, or I don't know, 76, 78 victories. In your heart no of heart, do you think you won the fight? Well, it's kind of childish. If you win a boxing match, they give it to you. If you lose it, they take it away. You just go on about yourself. I learned this from you, Larry. The only thing that counts is tomorrow. It's not, yesterday is dead and gone. If I could do it all over again, I probably would have thrown a few more punches and gone more for a knockout. But this is an excellent young man. He just lost his mother not too long ago. And he's had a hard life. And if that victory can help him, it, it, was it was clear that your corner thought you won the fight. Most people in the audience thought you won the fight. Going into the last round, did you feel you'd won the fight? You didn't have to score a knockout? Well, that fight is gone, Larry. You got to start crying about something for tomorrow. I've got four boys at home. If they hear me, nah, 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 about a loss, what can they do in basketball and a football game? Just got to go on to the next boxing match, the next game, and forget that I'm happy, I'm not hurt. I'm almost 50 years old, that young man had to suck it up, and he took everything he had just to stay in there with me. And I'm proud of myself, and he's showing the world that the age 50 is not a death sentence for an athlete. You can uh, pursue excellence as long as you want, not when people say it. Is this the end of the road, George, for your, your boxing career? You've talked to us about wanting to go back to your church, spend more time with the kids programs you're involved with and that you felt somehow that you were moonlighting as a prize fighter That's now. True. You can only get so many millions of uh, dollars and things of that nature. But I went back to the church last time and everybody was wondering, where's Reverend Foreman? You find out it's not about the money. And the kids at the youth center, they were showing out. They want, they want me there. So I may have to devote some more time to what I was originally doing. Boxing is fine, but I was only moonlighting. Is that, does that mean that, George, that this essentially is it? Uh, I don't think I'll be boxing again. I don't need that anymore. I had fun tonight. There was a lot of cheers, a lot of boos, but all in all, I had a great time. I'm still going to be in uh, the corner with you, and uh, and uh, my, what's, the, what's the other young fella there, the good-looking kid? Jim. Lamp. Jim. Jim Lamp. I'll still be in the corner. Thank you, sir. Okay. Well, thank you for having me. Right. I love you. God bless you, sir. You always been nice to me. You always said hello to me. You never okay. to me. Thank okay. you for the opportunity. All right. Now go forth. Appreciate it. Okay. So officially, officially, this is the end of your remarkable career, and you're ready to renew yourself in another career. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I've had a wonderful boxing career, but I'm a salesman at heart. And even tonight, the kid was hitting me behind the back, and uh, the referee warned him. And I decided I can't do that back to him. So next thing you know, I'll be out there. Really, I'm, I'm setting an example for my kids. You got to do it fair. Do it all your heart, train excellent, and I was able to do that. And there's nothing else to accomplish in this business. I'm really happy for that young man. I hope he doesn't smoke, and I hope he does not drink, and go on and live a nice, clean life. Well, George, nothing has symbolized you as much as 
your farewell to boxing. Thank well, you very you know much. What? I wouldn't want to do it with anyone better than Larry Merchant. You're a wonderful Jayden, man. Jayden, God bless you. And Jayden, remember, the George Foreman lean, mean, fat, reducing grilling machine. No home should be without this thing. God bless you. Go get one. Thank you, George.